morning, good morning, good morning. Have you guys been looking for me? Well, guess what? You found me in the kitchen with Angela, Creole Roots, all things New Orleans. I'm in my kitchen. You know it's got to be a Saturday or Sunday, but who knows? It could be in the middle of the week. Whatever I feel like doing, that's what I do. So today we are in my kitchen. This is a request that's been told to me from my Facebook family and friends. They want authentic New Orleans stuffed bell peppers. You heard me. I'm gonna be doing my mama's old school recipe just the way she did it years ago. She's not with us anymore, but my mama was a fabulous cook and I'm gonna go ahead and start this recipe for you guys. But I try to keep it as healthy as I can. I'm not saying this is gonna be healthy, but I'm gonna try to do what I do, okay? So I'm gonna start with a little water instead of oil. And you know my pan is heated up and I got my oven preheated as well. Okay, I'm starting with a little water and I have my ground, my ground beef, ground chuck here, okay? I'm going to start breaking that up. I like to use water. I'm going to break up this ground beef. But remember, this is my kitchen. So we do things what? My way. So my mama, she did things a little bit different. That's why her food was so amazing. We're going to use some ground maple pork sausage right and i already had some ground chuck you saw that it was grass fed so i'm gonna go ahead and drop this in there i'm using a half a two okay a little bit more i'm gonna get all that married together and this is our new orleans dish you can eat this just as it is, a stuffed bell pepper, or you can add it with another side dish. This is not the main part, but it is the main part, right? So I'm gonna get all my meats ground up. I also have some smoked sausage and ham, my diced up, right? So I'm adding all my meats in excluding the shrimp for now so i want to add all my meats in this is smoked sausage and diced ham so i'm dropping those meats in and we're gonna let them cook down cook all the way through just getting my ham out there and i know you guys see that shrimp in the holy trinity remember it's always good to prep. See the Holy Trinity in the shrimp? We're gonna make it do what it do. I chopped up my shrimp too. I didn't want the whole pieces. So we're doing some shrimp and the Holy Trinity. That if you don't know what that is, it's bell pepper, onion, and celery. So I got all my meats in there that I wanna use, except for the shrimp. We're gonna add the shrimp right before it's time to do the bread. And you want to make sure you got your meat chopped up because this is not going in pastas or anything like that. And uh, you know I have all my seasonings, so we're going to brown this up. And the reason why I use water is because I don't want the oils, okay? I don't want the extra oils because ground beef and all that stuff, it can come with oil already, right? because of the fatty content. So we're adding this up. I got this on about, uh, about 375, I'm cooking the meat down. You wanna make sure you break all your meat up. That's why I'm doing the chopping method. But this is ground beef, ground, I might take my glasses off because they're just giving me the blues. I think I got them too big. I need to go ahead and adjust it. Uh, I'm going to take them off because I don't want to keep on having to fool with these glasses while my hands are in this pot, right? So basically we got 
brown meat, that's brown chuck. We have brown maple pork sausage, that's going to be bursting with flavor, right? We also have smoked sausage, and we have diced ham, okay? So, like I said, we're going to add some shrimp in the pot, and because I use a high quality meat, it doesn't give off the fat or render off the fat. That's why I use the water too. I don't want that fat because you don't want greasy uh, stuffed bell peppers, right? So this looking pretty good. Yes, and I have my oven preheated to 350. And normally with bell peppers, the old school way was to always ball up peppers after you cut them in half. I'm gonna show you that while this is good, okay? So you would take the stuffed bell peppers, which they're cut lengthwise and cleaned up, got all the core out. This is the bell pepper right here. And what you would do is ball them for three to five minutes. You don't want them to fall apart. You don't over ball them because you need them to keep their form so you can stuff them, right? So I'm gonna push this back to the side. And then it's really looking good. My meat is ready, it's all diced up. That was the reason for the chopping method. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and add my Holy Trinity, which is bell pepper, celery, and onion, right? So we're gonna add that in there. Remember, we believe in marrying things in New Orleans, right? So that's what we're doing today. We're using the Holy Trinity, which is a good thing. That's unity right there. Okay, so then we're going to leave the shrimp to the side. We're not going to fool with the shrimp yet. Bell pepper, onion, and celery in my pan. Okay, and remember you cook your vegetables are you seasoning vegetables? You cook that for about three to five minutes until it becomes translucent. But this is gonna, oh, I dropped one. This is gonna be baked, okay? So even though we're cooking this, it's still gonna be baked, right? So you know I'm gonna add parsley flakes. And you can find a description. In the description, you'll find a recipe down below, okay? I'm gonna add some bay leaf, about two to three. Add that bay leaf in there, okay? And you wanna continue to stir, okay? You wanna continue to stir. I'm not worrying about the little liquid in there. It looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some thyme. Okay, I'm gonna also add basil. and oregano as well, okay? This is a very simple dish for real, you guys. And you know I gotta add sage. The sage is very aromatic, just like all herbs. Really good, I don't wanna overdo it. And then I'm gonna add some garlic powder, right? Okay, then what I use, some people like to use uh, regular breadcrumbs, but my mama always used Italian breadcrumbs. It has some seasoning in it. 
so I don't want to over season my stuff, right? And then you know I have to use some Creole seasoning. I don't want my stuffed bell peppers with no spice, not, not too much hot, hot stuff, so I'm not going to add that in there. But I'm going to add a little Tony Saturated Creole seasoning. And yeah, already this is good so far. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my shrimp. And here you see how that's looking good, you guys. I'll go ahead and add my shrimp in. Okay. We're making Creole stuffed bell peppers. No other way to do it. New Orleans style. This recipe is amazing. My mama was an amazing cook. My grandmother, my aunts, they all can cook. It's just early as we can or could, they had us up in the kitchen helping, right? And some stuff just fell on us. I'm not joking. Some stuff just fell on us. So this is looking amazing. We're gonna let that shrimp cook, turn pink. It doesn't take shrimp very long to cook down. And then we're gonna stuff the peppers. But I have something I gotta add to the pot, right? And I have shrimp stock right here. Shrimp stock, that's what I'm gonna to add to the pot. This is good old shrimp stock. I always make it myself. See that, the shrimps are still in it. I always make it myself. I'm gonna put this back, secure it, because the shrimp stock, it has to be for my gumbos and all that kind of stuff. So I make it myself using the shrimp shells, right? Also, you can add shrimp bouillon. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to overpower my stuffed bell peppers and make them salty. So I'm going to stay away from the shrimp bouillon. My shrimp is ready. I love this. It looks good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add in my shrimp stock. Oh, I left a piece of shrimp out. We don't want to do that. Shrimp costs too much to be leaving shrimp out. I caught it. We're not going to do that, right, you guys? We're not going to do that at all. So we're going to let this come to a boil. Remember I told you not to do um, add cold, <laughs> cold to a, a hot pot? Well, in this instance, I did. But we're going to let it come back up to a boil, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and move some stuff out the way, like, you know, my uh, stock and all that. I also have some Wagyu. I'm gonna make something else different with this. We have 12 bell peppers that we're using today. I'm gonna put this in the freezer, you guys. And I guess I'm gonna make some stewed chicken. I'm gonna make some stewed chicken. Oh, close the freezer. I'm gonna make some stewed chicken with some chicken breasts. It's not gonna be let me go ahead and add the rest of this. It's not going to be um, a whole chicken. It's going to be chopped up chicken with some vegetables on the side. So that's what we're going to do today. It's already come back up to a boil. Uh, Got to make sure all the seafood and stuff is cooked in here before I do anything extra, right? And then we're going to put stuff the bell peppers bring it up to a, um, well, after we stuff it, we're gonna put a little bit of water in the pan for the bell peppers. Okay, not a lot, just a little bit to touch the bottom. And then what we're gonna do is put it in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes until the bell peppers 
are set and still have their form but tender, right? So I'm going to also pull the bay leaf out of here. But first, you know I got to do my testing. Got to see how it came out, how it's tasting. And this is basically a Creole stuffed bell pepper, okay? Now, remember, adding seasoning is less is more and more is too much. So I'm going to take some of this right here. And I'm going to try a little shrimp with a little of the other ingredients. And we're going to see how this tastes, okay? Mmm. That's good. That is real good. So, remember, I didn't want the cayenne or black pepper. Because Tony saturates seasoning has a lot of flavor in it too. Also the breadcrumbs. We didn't want to add too much salt. We want it perfect, but tasting real good. So I can add a little bit more Tony Saturi. Just a little bit more. We're not going to overdo it because we're using this. That's the breadcrumbs my mama used to use. And that's what I'm going to use, right? So it needed just a little bit more. We don't want to overdo it in spice. We don't want to overwhelm anything. You don't want it all so over seasoned that you don't enjoy it, right? So I'm going to start pulling out my bay leaf. I remember how many I had. It was three. So I just got to dig through the pot, make sure I get rid of my uh, bell peppers because you don't want to leave that in there. It's not edible to eat. It's very tart if you taste it You don't want to do that. So when the other one comes to the surface, which I found one more We're gonna have to locate the other one and then we're ready to put in our breadcrumbs We're gonna turn off the heat I'm gonna taste it again once we turn off the heat, and we're gonna go from there, right? So this is almost done. We gotta turn it off and we're gonna add the bell peppers. I can't find the other one, but it'll circulate. Here it comes, there it is. We'll circulate it, right? So there you have it. I forgot one thing. Let me get my paprika. Sorry. Get my paprika. It's going to be great, you guys. It's going to be great. The smoked paprika for you guys who don't know. But there it is. So now what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna go ahead and add in my breadcrumbs. Right, we're gonna add in the breadcrumbs. Gotta make sure it's mixed real well, okay? I'm not done, I gotta add more. Okay. And it's gonna start forming like it's supposed to as a dressing, right? So, then I'm gonna do a taste test and then we're gonna start stuffing the bell peppers, we're gonna put them in the oven on 350, covered with foil. Ooh, this is looking good. It smells so good, you guys. It really does. I don't wanna drop none of my goodness, right? But then we're gonna put it in the oven. And this is, this is, this is good. This is good right here. So I don't believe I'm gonna need any more seasoning. 
I'm usually always dead on with seasoning. Just a second, gotta taste it. We're gonna do a taste test again. I never use the same spoon. Gonna get a little shrimp on that. Gonna taste this dressing. Here it is, you guys. It's real hot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. I'm so happy. Mm-mm-mm. Just like I thought, it didn't need too much extra, right? So now we're gonna turn this pot off on the plug. We're gonna get our stuffed bell peppers out. And we're gonna start, let me get another spoon. We're gonna start stuffing our peppers, right? So you just take and you, you stuff them well, okay? Just take your spoon and you fill each pepper up with a generous size portion. You could let them heap over, right? So remember I said in the beginning, it's your kitchen, you do it how you do it. Most people in New Orleans, what they do is old schools, they boil them first, the bell peppers. I didn't want to do that. I cut out the middleman and much more action in my kitchen. And uh, I just decided I'm gonna put them in an oven like this, cover them with foil, and they're gonna be good, juicy and tender. No problems at all, right? So you can see all the ingredients in there in that pepper. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop them. You could top them again with breadcrumbs. I don't want to. It's gonna be fine. Some people top them. I won't be doing that today with more breadcrumbs. I love the flavor. It's bursting. It's really delicious. And I'm excited. So we're gonna go ahead and get these in the oven after I finish stuffing each one. But remember, if you decide you like the recipes and more that I make, all things New Orleans, I'm Creole Roots girl, my family, we have some Creole background, you know most New Orleans people do. So uh, yeah, go ahead, subscribe to my channel. You know you can always welcome the comment if it's a nice, decent comment, it's not ridiculous, uh, uh, causing harm to anybody, I'll, I'll uh, be willing to speak on my recipes. But if you're going to be negative or ugly, you know I don't have time for that. So go ahead and click the bell to be notified when other videos drop. This is our New Orleans Creole stuffed bell pepper dish. Very famous in New Orleans, bursting with flavors. Real good hearty meal. So I'm gonna get the other one. And we're gonna stuff this one too. Ooh, I let some of my good stuff go away. So we're gonna go ahead and stuff these peppers. You know? And uh, invite others to my channel too. They're always welcome. And remember, you saw that, huh? I, I didn't have to drain because uh, I didn't have to drain the mixture, the ground beef and all that because of the quality of meats I decided to use. So I didn't have trouble with uh, fatty stuff, but it's still good and it's not really healthy, I'm gonna be honest. Stuffed bell peppers are not healthy, uh, but they're still good and I enjoy them and I can't wait to the holidays because we do, we do make our stuffed bell peppers for holidays and I'm gonna be making some pies. Just stick with me. 
join with me. I have some pies and stuff I want to make for you guys. I think you'll enjoy. Thanksgiving spread, just birthday spreads, holiday spreads in general, right? So this is my stuffed bell peppers. I'm excited whenever my meals are great. Um, I'm just thankful. You know, we mess up in the kitchen too. You can be a real good cook, but sometimes things happen in the kitchen. And uh, I just like to come to you open and raw. Uh, you know, not acting like I'm perfect or, in, in, or anything. Because even top chefs mess up in the kitchen, right? So, I'm going to go ahead and stuff this pepper here. And I'm really excited. It's a little hot. It's not that hot. I did turn off the fire, so I don't want you guys to worry. This is not hurting me. I'm used to handling hot stuff anyway. So we're going to get it stuffed in here. And you want to make sure it's stuffed real well, right? You want to overstuff your peppers. I, I really love the taste when stuffing peppers. I really love the taste. I eat the whole pepper. Not everybody does, but I do. I like that taste. This this really is, it marries well together. So I don't see anything wrong with eating the whole pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more. We do have a little bit uh, of the ingredients left in the pan. And like I said, you can overstuff your peppers. There's nothing wrong with that, right? The more the merrier, I tell you, the more the merrier. Got to get that good shrimp in there. We got to clear this pan. That's right. So, I'm going to wash my hands off a little bit. I'm going to get some water in the pan. Got to let you guys see. They're stuffed. Look at them, you guys. Isn't that beautiful? New Orleans Creole stuffed bell peppers. My mama's way. And uh, I'm thankful for my mother being an awesome cook. She worked in some of the finest restaurants in New Orleans. And Olivier's. She even worked for some people, you know, that were celebrities like Fats Domino and all them. So I'm gonna put water in the other pan too. Remember I said not a lot. So now we're gonna get the foil on the pan and we're gonna put it in the oven. And then what we're gonna do is let it cook. 35 to 40 minutes until the peppers are good to go, all tender. And then you're going to see the finishing touches. And I'll be back with you in a little bit, okay? So you guys hang in there with me. And I'll be back. All right, you guys. I think we're ready. Uh oh, I'm a little off. Oh, let me fix my camera. So... All right, so we're good. I'm ready to go ahead and get my bell peppers out the oven. They look really good, you guys. And uh, it's been about 45 minutes. Okay, and this is the finishing touches of my, stuff, my Creole stuffed bell peppers. Look at that beautiful, it's beautiful. And I know it's gonna taste really good. So, you know, I'm going to have the recipe in the description down below. So, thank you so much for joining me on my channel every week. This is In the Kitchen with Angela, Creole Roots, All Things New Orleans. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Click the bell to be notified for when other videos drop. Invite others as well. And you're always welcome to leave messages for me as long as they're decent. I got you. If not, you know I'm going to scroll past you. 
So this is In the Kitchen with Angela. I'm signing out for the day. And I hope you enjoy this video. And I do want you to check out the recipe again. Here it is. Beautiful, right? So thank you so much. And you guys have a great day. Bye.